options off of this part. It's along the same lines of what we were doing here. Except we started before by kicking through and coming over. This time when I replace my shin, it's going to be with this arm. I'm going to replace my shin with this arm. And as I drop my elbow, I'm hipping out to this side. Then I'm going to start maybe working a back take. It's just to go to the back. I'm going to show you guys. So it actually works a lot better. No gi. I don't have all the bricks in the gi. When I kick this through and come here and drop this down, I like to catch under his neck. One shrimp out. You don't even have to go all the way to the back to finish this. A lot of times you can end up on the back because, of course, they're going to move. So we're starting out before we attack here. This time we're attacking here. As the elbow comes down, I need to shrimp out. Now I've got the same lock, rear naked choke, from the side. Um, you can also come here, bring your hand in to defend. He brings his hand in to defend. Oh. And now we're back with our sleeves. So if the hand doesn't come in, if the hand doesn't come in, I'm under the chin, of course, I'm going to finish my choke. Of course, he starts fighting the choke. If I catch this in a gift wrap, this hand comes out and just goes under the leg. Same gift wrap. Sweet. One more time or no? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both? Yes. Okay, so the first one is if I get under the chin clean. Here, as the elbow comes down, I have to hip out. I caught his neck clean that time, so I'm going to finish the choke. If his hand's coming in blocking, I'm going to grab the hand, the hand that was the active choking hand comes out. Is going under here. Remember, you initiate this sweep with the top leg. I can't just push him over with my hamstring. I have to initiate the sweep here and then kick with the hamstring. So when I end up here, if it's a fight, you trap that arm. Or if it's jujitsu, you can just go into finish your choke. 